Hello, I'm Mike Sturt. I'm a troop master in uh, MI 2818 up in Traverse City, and I'm here today to talk to you about uh, food and winter camping. And the uh, thing to remember is to uh, keep it in. Uh, you, your body uses uh, the food as fuel to burn and help keep you warm. You, you'll want to consume more calories than usual because uh, uh, your body will burn that and keep you toasty warm. Um, think of a time when you were out skiing or sledding and you're playing hard all day in the snow and you came in and oh, you were famished and you just ate and ate that's what it's going to be like when you're out camping so plan on taking uh, more food than you you think you might need so not all calories are the same um, they burn at different uh, rates um, you'll probably want to aim for about 50 to 60 percent of your your food intake from uh, carbohydrates um, there's like starches and simple sugars, uh, the um, candy bars, and uh, they burn uh, real easy and it'll be a quick, uh, quick uh, energy boost, but it won't uh, keep you full for very long. And um, uh, complex carbs like pastas or grains, those will burn even a little slower and they'll keep you uh, keep you warmer longer. Um, the thing that'll burn the slowest are fats and you want about 20% of your diet to be fats so that uh, you keep the fats coming in it'll burn nice and slow and keep you warm through especially throughout the night um, good examples of those are meats butters cheese nuts right? and protein uh, protein you know from meat sources helps uh, uh, feel full longer and uh, keep you important part of your your meal and you'll probably want about 20 25 percent of your meal to be that and snacks you'll want to snack in between meals all day on the trail um, just to keep it coming in so snacks are important too a trail mix would be a good source you got the, um, the sugar and the raisins and the chocolate and that'll give you that quick energy boost and then also the nuts in the trail mix will uh, burn a little longer and give you some more uh, uh, more longer term uh, fuel although not a food source water is very important um, when you're outside in the winter you see your breath um, that's you're expelling water so you'll want to keep keep drinking uh, you'll probably want to drink more than a normal um, because yeah, your body will will expel it. Okay, so we uh, talked about the types of fuel that your body needs to stay warm. Um, and so now let's uh, discuss um, preparing for your trip, how you're gonna cook on the trip and uh, stuff like that. So you need to know how long you're gonna be out. You know, you plan your menu and shopping list. Um, so just make sure you have enough food for you and everybody uh, in your patrol and uh, try to plan for easy meals at camp. Um, you don't want to be out in the cold uh, with bare hands any longer than you need to be. So can you pre-make anything at home? My boys uh, planned a menu a couple weeks ago and they prepped all the rice and beans and um, they measured it all out and so it was just ready to dump into a pot. Um, so try, you know, prepping at home, um, things like one pot meals are great. Um, you don't want to have a whole bunch of things going and want to keep it simple, simple and healthy, uh, pack efficiently, you know, so all your menu items for that meal are together. Um, you don't want to have to root, root around for stuff. Fresh foods like meats, they're okay because you, you got um, refri natural refrigeration out here. Um, vegetables, they have water in them and fruits, they'll freeze. Um, so you can bring them, but plan on using them, bring, using them soon. Um, keep in mind diet concerns. If there's any food allergies, you don't want to uh, use those your menu. Serving size. Make sure everybody has enough to eat that uh, uh, 
um, everybody likes the meal. Um, you don't want anybody to not eat because that's going to be what keeps you warm. Um, if in question, err on the side of more food. Because just eat it in. Eat it up. Keep it, keep it coming in. Um, snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. They're very important. Uh, trail mix, nuts, dried fruit, uh, beef jerky. Now we got to talk about uh, cooking your food because uh, uh, things don't always act the same in the winter. Um, the normal camp stove fuel, the green bottle, um, they like to freeze up in the winter. So it, a little flame will come out and it, just it's not effective um, the best is um, to use this uh, liquid fuel stove this is our backpacking one but you have liquid fuel in the bottle and you pump it up um, and the air forces that fuel into the, the stove um, those old Coleman stoves that I had when I was a kid where you'd pump the red tank those it's the same uh, concept. It's a, when using the stoves and pots, it's uh, good to put a lid on. That helps keep the heat in. And um, windscreen in your pot, that helps all that heat stay stay in there. Because with it being cold, it'll lose heat too. Um, campfire is always a good, uh, good way to cook your meal. Hobo dinners, tinfoil meals, um, pie irons. They're all, you can have a nice little fire going. Um, Dutch ovens are great too. They keep all that heat inside. But it being cold out, it uh, you'll probably need to add uh, more charcoal, more coals uh, more often because you, you'll lose uh, heat quicker. Some things that don't work real well, like morning, are uh, pancakes. Uh, the batter can freeze. Um, how are you gonna keep multiple pancakes warm um, so if you can answer those then um, go for it but uh, be careful oatmeal a uh, great one pot meal breakfast idea uh, top it with uh, dried fruit and nuts and brown sugar you'll be good to go we mentioned uh, having drinking a lot uh, you'll want to keep uh, keep the water coming in too uh, it'll help you stay hydrated um, Depending on your water source, if you have moving water, you can, uh, um, that's always open and free, but you'll have to boil it. Um, you can pack water in, um, and bringing a cooler will help uh, keep your water from freezing. So you put your water and all your food in the cooler, and that'll uh, help slow down that freezing process. It's just the opposite in the summer good insulation either way and at night some people will put their water bottle in their sleeping bag that is one way to keep your bottle warm but you need to be really careful that um, you don't have any accidents with it because the water getting into your sleeping bag will is not good it will will be cold that night um, so just be very careful with that so the cooler is probably the best option uh, for keeping things uh, uh, unfrozen um, and you can bring your sled along too to pull uh, more gear all the, these examples of, of menu ideas it's always good to practice at home um, just go out you know at night you know in your backyard some weekend and, and practice sleeping out um, you'll be surprised and how warm you can be um, so just get out and, and try it so I thought I would give you a play-by-play -play of uh, uh, us going on an actual camping trip. So uh, we're the first ones here for our troop. So um, we have all our gear and water uh, in the cooler so it won't freeze. Uh, we have our backpacks with all our gear on our sleds. Uh, we got snowshoes so we'll, we're set to hike a mile out to camp. And uh, there will be another video for uh, dinner and breakfast and uh, maybe even lunch. So here we are at breakfast. Uh, sorry about dinner, not getting dinner last night, but uh, we had chicken and couscous boiling in a pot. And this morning uh, we got water from the creek down the hill 
that uh, we got to bring to a boil and then we'll add our, our oatmeal and we'll top with uh, um, dried fruit, brown sugar and uh, some nuts. So that will give us lots of uh, energy for the day. And here we got hot water going for our, uh, our coffee and hot chocolate. And uh, just a reminder when you take it from the creek, you got to bring it to a boil.